Boys, I love you. We'll see you after New Hampshire. Okay? Yeah. I'm off to the airport. You guys enjoy your enjoy your yogurt. Yeah? Yeah. US Mountain Championships in New Hampshire. And here's little Michael. Alright, Michael. We'll see you later, buddy. He he just woke up. He just he just woke up. <laughs> Alright. Bye my love. Oh, I need ya. Mm. Oh It'll be a good trip, great trip. Oh, we're gonna, so, crush. We're gonna crush it. We're gonna go crush it. All right. Tell Joseph McKenzie I love him. I, I will. I will. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let me think. I got this. Yeah. Perfect. I love you. I miss you. Ciao, ciao. All right. Ciao, ciao. Go fight, win. Go fight, win. All right, we're rolling now. And yes, everyone, mwah, love you. Ciao, ciao. I slept so well last night. And yes, yesterday's vlog was all about sleep. So I'm feeling good about the situation. Feeling good about the situation. YouTube family says hi, says goodbye too. All right, who's that, Michael? Ah, bye, Michael. <laughs> Precious. You better believe I've got my compression sleeves on for this pretty, I would say it's probably a four and a half hour flight to Boston from Denver. So it's no, you know, it's not a one hour or, you know, two hour flight. So it's a little way. So I have my compression sleeves on, my calves, my uh, hamstrings, just trying to, trying to keep those legs happy after yesterday's 20 miler. They're definitely, uh, they're feeling good, but you know, I've got a couple days to freshen up before New Hampshire, before the race, uh, but I just got to Got to do the little things, do the little things every single day. And frankly, at this point, every single hour is what it feels like. All right. When it's all about the race, no turning back too late. Cruising to the gate, looking at some pictures. Here's Denver, Colorado. That's the hometown with the mountains there in the background. That's where I live. And then down here, everyone, this is where I went to school. This is Boulder, Colorado. There's the campus and there's the flat irons off there in the distance. Pretty sweet aerial view of Boulder. And then I believe this mountain real quick is where the race was canceled. I think this is Aspen Ski Resort where uh, my first race of 2019 was actually canceled because of uh, avalanche danger. So maybe this next year I'll be able to do it with my brother who he is here at the airport, but I got held up in security because of my electronic foam roller, the Hyper Ice Viper 2.0. I was uh, held up, so he went through. So anyway, I gotta go find him. They just were really quite concerned about this. <laughs> it kinda looks a little funny. Uh, yeah, even just using it on my feet for my, you know, potential plantar fasciitis issues. Yeah. Like you just stand on it. I don't think it'll be too loud because of the carpet, but... So I just... Yeah. You, want, you can feel it, how much... Yeah, it's crazy. Well, watch this. <laughs> it gets a little crazy.
Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Founding fathers right there. <laughs> All right, we're getting the rental car and then off to a quick shakeout. Shake off that four hour flight from Denver to Boston. Just talk to us. Let's see where the keys, there they are. Uh, there we go. All right, everyone. We got Joseph and Mackenzie here. Yeah. Say hi. Hopefully it's not too uh, dark in here. Oh man, we made it through the airport. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right, let's see. Actually, you know what? I might, hold on. I think I got it all plugged in. Okay, you're gonna have to teach me how to do this. People walking over. All right, putting the running shoes on. Do you smell that? Do you smell it? I smell sea level. That's what I smell. All right, we're going for our five mile shakeout after the flight. Let's go. We got the food. We got the food. <laughs> All I know is it's nice to be in oxygen. That was amazing. That was amazing. All right, you got some food? Oh yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Salad time. Boom, there it is. All right, so run is done in Boston. Now we're two hour drive to New Hampshire. Again, I just can't emphasize enough. There's oxygen here and it tastes so good. See you in New Hampshire. Good evening, everybody from Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. Uh, this is my abode with a nice canopy for the next two days. <laughs> lovely, lovely. This is where I'll be staying. And uh, holy smokes. All right. I've got to talk a little quieter because uh, Joseph and Mackenzie are asleep just a, a couple doors down. So I got to, you know how I like to talk loud. I get a little excited uh, when I'm talking with all of you. So I got to talk a little quieter, but um, I just, you know how I like to publish every single day at 5 a.m., right? I'm committed to that. And so the Wi-Fi here where we're staying is not working. I don't know what's going on. We can't figure it out, but I may have found a workaround through the 4G network on my phone. I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot and hopefully this blog that you're watching right now publishes on time. Okay, I'm going to sit down and get you the question of the day. Now that we are here, settled in for the U.S. Mountain Championships and uh, basically we're all in this together. We're fighting together here on this YouTube channel and in April, in case you're a new subscriber, I had a stress reaction in my left foot. Uh, on my second metatarsal, third metatarsal area, and it didn't feel good. I was getting ready for the Cleveland Marathon, and so I decided through that injury that it would be, uh, I don't know, not a wise move, but a, a, a good move to open up an opportunity for all of you out there to chime in and share with us, this YouTube family, YouTube running family, about your injuries that you are struggling with right now or I'll just put a qualifier on that maybe it's not an injury maybe it's a niggle meaning an ache or a pain that has the potential to turn into something more serious and you want to get on top of it meaning you want to nip it in the bud as we say here and at least that's what we say in Colorado nip it in the bud meaning get uh, get the niggle to go away before it turns into an injury now Another uh, asterisk or big qualifier is that I am not a doctor, not a medical professional. Um, just so you know, I've dealt with IT band issues, um, shin splints a little bit. My specialty, sadly, is plantar fasciitis and stress fractures. Those are the two injuries over the past 21, 22 years of running that I've been doing that I've struggled with the most, plantar fasciitis, PF, and stress fractures in my bones. So. I can help you there especially. Uh, but the question of the day, and so, the, so what I decided because of my injury is to check in with all of you once a quarter. So four times per year. So July, August, 
September. We're almost into October. I decided today's vlog was going to focus on this question of the day. What injury are you struggling with right now? What niggle or pain are you struggling with right now? And uh, what advice or uh, simple, simply support would you like to receive from all of us? We're here for you. Injuries are no fun. They take you out of the passion, the game, but you will get through it. I know you will. Just It's, it's patience and listening to the, pro, the pros, the medical professionals, and um, getting into that cross-training routine. So we are here for you. That is the question of the day. And uh, so far for me, you know, I am right now pretty much niggle-free. Maybe, you know, I'm just kind of sore and tired more than anything, um, but no, no sharp pains as I continue to tell uh, Bridget and my massage therapist as well. Like, there's no sharp pain, so that is a good, good sign. All right, I love you all. Signing off from Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. Pretty exciting stuff. Tomorrow we get to pick up the packets and then uh, relax, rest, stretch, foam roll, explore, not explore, but look at the mountain that we're racing up, you know, kind of check out a little bit of the footing. Make sure the it might rain tomorrow, actually, um, so it might be a muddy course on Sunday. The race starts 10 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday morning. Um, now the ladies start at 8.30 a.m., so they're an hour and a half before the men, just so you know, in Waterville Valley, New Hampshire. All right, I'm going to toss it back to a couple old race blogs on the right and the left. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for your patience in case this did not publish on time, but I'm hoping that it does. Beauty, work hard, and love each other.